His Excellency, Green Minister, Green Gefix, my good friend Edgar, colleagues from the journalists and member of the press. Once again, I would like to warmly welcome my good friend Minister Rinke Fix back to Jakarta. Minister Rinke Fix visited Indonesia seven years ago. It was in 2012. And Minister Rinke Fix and I just had a very fruitful and productive meeting. Actually, in fact, it is not our first meeting. It is our second meeting. Our first meeting was uh, taken place in Bangkok in 2016 at the sidelines of the ASEAN EU Ministers meeting. I'm very happy that we are able to sit once again and compare notes where Indonesia Latvia bilateral relations are today. It is very heartening to observe that the data, all the data show a positive trend in our bilateral relation, proving that despite the geographical distance, with hard work, long-distance countries can have strong relations. On trade, during the last four years, Indonesia-Latvia trade has experienced an average increase of 35%. And in the first quarter of 2019, we, are, we also see an increase of 29% compared to the first quarter in 2018. Latvia is Indonesia's largest trading partner in Baltic. Interestingly, almost half of Indonesia export to Latvia is palm oil. On tourism, if we compare the number of Latvia tourists visiting Indonesia from 2014 to 2018, we will also see an increase of almost 150%. I'm glad that during this visit, Minister Rickenfix is also accompanied by a business delegation, and I do hope that Latvian investment in Indonesia will also follow the positive trend in our trade and tourism cooperation. During the meeting, I share with Minister Rickenfix the President Jokowi vision for the next five years, in particular on investment and development of human capital. We also exchange of views on a number of regional as well as international issues. I share with Minister Rican Fix the development in ASEAN, in particular the adoption of ASEAN outlook in Indo on Indo-Pacific. We also discuss relation between Indonesia and the EU, including the ongoing negotiation of Indonesia EU JEPA. I underline the importance of fair treatment on Indonesia palm oil. Lastly, I also convey Indonesia requests for Latvia support for Indonesia candidacy on the Human Rights Council for the period of 2020-2022. Now I would like to invite Minister Rikovic to deliver statement. Edgar, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Dear friends, it's great to be back to Jakarta. It's great to be back to Indonesia after seven years. And it's always striking after some time to see the development uh, of the country, development of, of city. And uh, as we just heard, and I can agree with everything you just said, we enjoy excellent political and economic relations, and we were discussing also ways how to enhance, first of all, bilateral economic cooperation. We agreed that there is a need to expand the treaty base that governs our bilateral cooperation in the field of tourism, in the field of culture. We are very happy to have discussion on the conclusion of the convention to uh, avoid uh, double taxation. Those are issues that we proposed and we will be working further. Uh, when it comes to trade cooperation, we are very happy to be the largest uh, trading partner for Indonesia in the Baltic states, but I think that there is still uh, room for growth, room for improvement, and uh, we see that uh, we can expand in areas like information technologies, like engineering, 
chemical and pharmaceutical, wood and food processing industries. We import a lot from Indonesia, but also we have a lot to offer to Indonesia. And I think that uh, this meeting provides very good stimulus for further cooperation in this field. We also discussed uh, EU-Indonesia relationship and we are both in the agreement that we need to foster uh, political and economic dialogue and we are ready to listen to some of the issues that Indonesia has when it comes to conclusion of uh, agreement between EU and Indonesia. I think that we are all interested in fair and balanced relationship. We are all interested to tackle climate change issues, but we also understand that we need to have uh, the further work uh, between EU and ASEAN uh, on issues that my colleague just mentioned, including also the uh, issue of uh, on oil export. Finally, I congratulated Indonesia for a very successful work on Indo-Pacific outlook of Thank ASEAN. You. I think that uh, your country and you personally, the Minister, uh, have contributed to have this uh, vision that it is very important also for us in Europe in order to cooperate further with ASEAN countries as well as Indonesia in particular. Finally, uh, I reiterated my support uh, to Indonesia in many international organizations when you are uh, competing for that or another seat and I think that our mutual support in UN agencies and bodies has been very successful and we will continue to support Indonesia in uh, councils like uh, ECOSOC and also Human Rights Council and we will also count on support of Indonesia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.